Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter the export of components to a 3D PDF and animation. For example, you may not want to show components in a 3D PDF or an animation that you run in the Visual Components Experience app, such as you know floor plans, some other components that are used to make the simulation run. To give you an example, in the 3D world I have a layout open, which you can find in your e-catalog panel. It's in our demo layouts and it's called Machine Tending. If I was to record this simulation as a 3D PDF, I'll just do this really quickly for you. Wait till the robot picks up a part and puts it in a machine, then we'll stop and save there. Looks good, so let's stop and save. The 3D PDF will open. And now we can see it, but you notice the floor plan is visible. So how can we hide that in our 3D PDF? Well, it's simple. Let's close out this PDF. And then I will select the floor plan. It's just a DWG file, 2D drawing. And in the component properties panel, I'll go to the PDF export level property. Right now it's set to complete, so it will be exported to the PDF and animation, but I'll now set it to be no export. And if I reset and record the simulation again as a PDF, let's have the robot pick up the part. So same thing again. Stop and save. Let's view the 3D PDF. And ho ho! Notice the floor plan or those lines are not there. But we don't have to stop there. We can do the same for these inlet and outlet that are used in the machine tending library. So let's close out this PDF, go back, reset our simulation, and I will select the inlet here, as well as the outlet here. And then we'll go to the component properties. Every component has a PDF export level property. So notice I have two objects selected. I'm now setting their PDF export level to no export. So these two components will not show in a 3D PDF or an animation. And to give you an example, let's go back here, export to PDF. We'll do the same recording again. Wait till the robot picks up the part, puts it in a machine. Stop and save here. And now in our 3D PDF, we can see those components are not being shown as well as the floor plan. But let's see how this works in experience. So we'll close out Adobe Acrobat. Reset my simulation and this time I'll record an animation. I'll start the recording. Just use any file name you want. The default is fine. We'll wait for the robot to pick up the part, put it in the machine. Looks good. Let's stop and save. Here's the file. I'll now double click it to open it in experience. I have the app installed on my desktop, which is why I'm showing the option to either view it in 3D or in virtual reality. So if you do have a support device, you can use virtual reality, but for 3D, we can just use the 3D viewer that you would have if you were using a smartphone, for example. And in here, you can't see the, uh, the floor plan. And if we change our view, notice that the inlet and outlet were not exported as well to the animation. But the layout still works fine. Everything is working. OK, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, have a wonderful day.